six medical research breakthroughs from 2024 that involved animals. In this video, we look back at some of the most exciting science news stories of 2024 that involved animal research. In June, we saw a world first in medical research, the extraordinary story of an epilepsy device being fitted to a boy's skull. The clinical trial was part of the Cadet Partnership involving Great Ormond Street Hospital, UCL, King's College Hospital and the University of Oxford. It involved a series of trials assessing the safety and effectiveness of deep brain stimulation, or DBS. Oren Nolson has Lennox-Gastaut syndrome, which is a form of epilepsy, causing him to suffer from daily seizures ranging from two dozen to 100. The fitted device, known as a neurostimulator, sends electrical signals deep into his brain and blocks the abnormal electrical activity which causes the seizures. The surgery took place at Great Ormond Street Hospital in London in October 2023 and has reduced Oren Nolson's daytime seizures by 80%. Research exploring deep brain stimulation involving laboratory animals dates back to the 1860s. Shortly after, researchers showed in monkeys and dogs that stimulation of brain regions is linked to repetitive movements similar to epileptic seizures. In October 2024, for the first time, an international group of researchers have successfully mapped the fruit fly brain, the most complex brain to ever be mapped. The complete synaptic resolution wiring map of the brain of the Drosophila fruit fly was achieved by the Flywire Consortium, including researchers in the MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology, the University of Cambridge, Princeton and Vermont. The map shows every neuron and every connection in the fruit fly's brain, known as a connectome. This map contains almost 140,000 neurons and over 15 million synaptic connections. Comparing this connectome to a previous partial map demonstrated that connectomes are not unique to individuals, but are instead highly consistent between animals. However, they also discovered 0.5% have developmental wiring defects, which researchers believe could contribute to individuality and various mental health disorders. In the future, such a connectome is likely to be replicated in other organisms, such as mice. A new way to treat serious asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease attacks, or COPD, has been developed by international teams led by King's College London, marking the first breakthrough in COPD research in the last 50 years. The results of a clinical trial involving 158 patients showed an injection of benralizumab was more effective than the current treatment of steroid tablets and reduces the need for further care by 30%. Benralizumab is a monoclonal antibody that targets specific white blood cells to reduce lung inflammation. The monoclonal antibodies themselves were derived from mice that have been modified to prevent the antibodies being rejected by the human body. Toxicology testing involved monkeys to ensure that the antibodies were safe for humans. COPD is the third leading cause of death worldwide, meaning the new treatment could be revolutionary for millions of people around the world. 2024 has seen the rise of drugs to treat obesity in a new era of treatments to promote weight loss. The 2024 Lasker Prize was awarded to three scientists for their work in developing GLP-1-based drugs. Joel Habener and Svetlana Moisov determined the physiological active form of the hormone and Lot Bjer Knudsen transformed it into a treatment to increase weight loss. Initial research in the 1970s, which used anglerfish and hamsters, led to the discovery of GLP-1, or glucagon-like peptide 1. It was shown activating the GLP-1 receptor can reduce food consumption and increase satiety in hamsters. Globally, almost 900 million adults are living with obesity. The development of new drugs is a revolutionary step forward in managing a global health problem. 
In a new clinical trial, three patients had their vision restored using stem cell therapy. Researchers at Osaka University in Japan used induced pluripotent stem cells to successfully and safely treat people with damaged corneas. Three patients with severely impaired vision had major improvements in their eyesight lasting for more than a year. A fourth patient regained their sight, but the treatment did not last. Over the two-year period, none of the patients experienced serious side effects. However, the therapy must now be tested in larger trials to ensure its widespread safety. Previous stem cell transplant studies have involved using animals, such as mice, to assess safety and efficacy of such therapies. Our final story of 2024 highlights a study relating to the replacement reduction and refinement of animals in research, specifically looking at a new technique for assessing fertility hormone testing. Francesco Novelli and his team at Merck in Italy developed a new in vitro assay for testing FSH or follicle stimulating hormones. FSH is produced for fertility treatments such as IVF to increase the number of eggs that can be fertilized. Previously, according to regulations, the efficacy of FSH had to be assessed in female rat assays by studying their ovaries after being injected with FSH. The new assay by Novelli was approved for use in 2022 by the European Medicines Agency and in more than 70 countries, replacing the rat test. For their work, Novelli and his team were awarded this year's NC3R's 3R's prize for an outstanding contribution to reducing the number of animals used every year in research, with an estimated reduction of nearly 40,000 animals annually. <laughs>